AudioWise LLC, a film strip becomes a waveform. Words slide in, turning pictures into words. Clouds race over snowy peaks. You're always aware that it's bigger and stronger than you are. And it's been there longer. Photo negatives of mountains, a weather conditions report. Words on an x-ray, a make a hero film. And there's also a beauty in it. And it, it takes a certain kind of foolish courage. Red rocks in the foreground give way to a snow-covered range in association with adaptive adventures. I don't want to look at this, I want to be in it. And I think that's where it really all started. I want to be in the mountain. A pair of skis slide into a rack outside a gondola. Narrated by Robert Redford, Warren Miller. A second pair of skis slide into the rack. A ski boot steps into the gondola. Starring Rick Finkelstein, Jim Martinson, Mike May, Tracy Taylor, Chris Waddell. Ski boots are buckled. A map of Aspen's roads runs and features. Snow falls on a blue and white directional sign. Gondola doors close. A view of Aspen Mountain from the gondola. A negative image becomes a color video of the flank of the mountain. Edited by Dennis Flippin. Film of moving skis on snow becomes a still negative of the skis. Written by Greg I. Hamilton. Skiing down a run from the skier's point of view. Passing quickly between the trees. Produced by Kurt Miller. On the trail. Words on a red and yellow sign. Snow conditions. This point. Another sign, a black ski icon on yellow, on the trail. A wide area with a sign ahead. Directed by Greg I. Hamilton, Kurt Miller. The skier takes a trail to the left. The skier passes another skier on the right, flies off the trail, and impacts a pine tree. Words appear. This is the story of movement. It's about finding that turning point when physical disability is no longer a limitation but a part of your character. Ice crystals fall from aspen branches backlit by sunlight. A negative image of an accident report. Like most movements, this one began with a crystallizing event, a ski accident causing permanent paralysis. A spinal x-ray. A soldier maimed by a landmine in Vietnam. Double leg amputee in a wheelchair. A little girl born with a dire prognosis. A woman with arm crutches. Or like Mike May, total blindness from a chemical explosion. I blew myself up and almost died when I was three. I ended up blind, which was a blessing compared to what might have happened. Jim Martinson. I can remember the accident. I remember the bouncing Betty landmine go off. I really didn't know what kind of a landmine it was. It went off. It, I remember my right index finger was missing. I mean, that in itself was pretty traumatic. Chris Waddell. I can tell you as much as I know about the accident. And I was, it was my first day of Christmas vacation. I was at home, I was training, or about to train. I was with my brother and a couple of friends, a bunch of friends, and we were just warming up. I was testing a new pair of skis. In the middle of a turn, my ski popped off. I just literally walked out of my ski. As I, as I can piece it together, I fell in the middle of the trail. I broke two vertebrae. I didn't hit anything other than the ground. And you know that was the thing that basically created the change. Tracy Taylor. I was born three months premature. Um, I had severe respiratory and heart disabilities, or um, defects, which I don't like that term, but that was the case back in the mid-70s. Um, I would never sit, stand, um, probably, or, or probably speak. Um, I was going to probably be blind, um, and they suggested possibly institutionalizing me because they didn't think that I would be able to learn. In his chair, Chris descends an escalator backwards. Our movement started with the word never. You'll never walk again. A bandage is removed from Mike's eye. You'll never be able to see. You'll never live to the age of five. Our heroes refuse to accept that word. 